the creative people behind the creation of Null, aka the symbiote god, who of course is featured as one of the villains in the upcoming Venom The Last Dance, took to social media to talk about their dissatisfaction over the fact that they were never told that their creation is in the film. Oh, and also they're not getting paid or credit for it. Okay, so let's talk about the latest controversy, which isn't just a Sony gonna Sony thing, it's a Marvel gonna Marvel, Marvel Studios gonna Marvel, DC gonna DC, and um, look, it's a industry-wide problem because these corporations just don't care. It's not that they overlook it, it's that they don't care. So here's the latest controversy. No, the symbiote god is of course in the upcoming Venom The Last Dance. He is sort of like the end boss for Venom, right? Well, it just so happens that that character is pretty recent, within the last decade, and of course he was co-created by a few people, let's just be clear about that, and then more writers would come on and add contents and, uh, you know, context to the character, the history, the backstory, and what they do with the character. Typically, these people would like to get paid, more than likely, right? Because they came up with the concepts, they'd at least like some sort of credit. It turns out that the people responsible for creating No, his history, what he does, his connection to Venom, the story and everything, are not receiving credit for it in the film. Now, okay, maybe they're going to receive money, right? They're getting paid for it. They're not getting paid for it either by the sounds of it because they went online and said, well, that's cool. Thanks for using our creation. But we weren't told about this. We didn't even know No was in this till we saw the film. And now looking at who you guys are crediting, we're not even being credited for this, which again is a major issue. Now, for some reason, whenever we talk about this, it's not a majority of you guys, don't take it that way. But there is a minority that always get in these comments and they're defending these corporations being like, well, these artists and writers are just hired guns. They're working for these people. Why should they receive credit? Okay, if you work a normal job, I don't know, let's just say a pizza maker. What if you weren't getting paid for making that pizza? They just decide, yeah, you're not going to get paid for this one today. Thanks for working, though. You guys see what I'm saying? Don't argue against these corporations being greedy when they can afford it. Most of the times, and I've seen these paychecks from some people credited with some of these comic book things, they're like minuscule. Like we're talking two to $10,000 for getting credit on one of these comic book films. And when a film is going to go on and make five, six, seven hundred million, in Marvel Studios' case, over a billion, sometimes over two billion... Not giving a comic creator that came up with some of these ideas upwards of $10,000 is scummy, guys. It is scummy. Do not defend it. These guys created these concepts. No is a creation of some talented people that aren't being recognized for their creation. That's not right. That's what I'm trying to say. Don't defend these corporations, and they should be credited because it's a scummy move.